Burundi's President Pierre Kurunziza is seeking to run for a third term in 2015. And to make this happen, his ruling party sought to rewrite the constitution. However, the party failed to win parliamentary approval after its junior coalition partner boycotted the vote to remove presidential two-term limits. But according to the country's interior minister, Edouard Duimana, Kurunziza still plans to run for office. Critics say the envisioned changes would undermine a delicate ethnic power-sharing deal. The changes would include a single powerful prime minister from the ruling party, replacing two vice-president posts shared between the Hutu and Tutsi ethnic groups. Everything that's being done is for the party in power to win the 2015 elections. Everything that's being done is for the president of the country to obtain the constitutional right to run for a third mandate. So it's his responsibility to clean up this situation. One man viewed as Nkurunziza's main challenger is Agaton Rwasa. He's one of the president's most vocal critics. He was the last rebel commander to lay down arms in 2009. He commanded the National Liberation Forces during the Civil War. The political environment in Burundi doesn't show signs that it's going to improve. Rather, it may deteriorate even further if we believe what we hear in the media every day. When the youth arm of the party in power attacks other citizens only because they belong to other political parties. Opposition supporters in Burundi's capital, Bujumbura, recently clashed with police. In response to the protests, the government has now ordered the arrest of opposition leader Alexis Sinduhije. There will be resistance. We will die if need be. We'll come out of here free or dead. We will never again accept them to trample over our dignity. We are going to fight for our dignity. And this dignity simply means freedom and justice. It is these tensions that have raised concerns of new turmoil in the region. Burundi borders Rwanda, where Hutu extremists targeted ethnic Tutsis and moderate Hutus in the 1994 genocide. Carol Oyola, CCTV.